Hello artist, how are you today? Stephanie Ani coming to you from Concord, California. It's a little bit breezy out there, kind of cold and yucky, but it's nothing compared to the storms that you guys have going on across the country. You know, it's just not really pleasant for us to go stand outside in our sweaters. <laughs> so, oh, I, I took them off. You might notice that I'm wearing a new necklace. This is a two-part necklace. Both of the, um, the chains are copper. This one is a very delicate copper. This is uh, probably uh, some sort of uh, steel or tin and, and copper. And then this is a little shell element. Here is the earring. And here's the other earring. Dun, dun, dun. This is the jewelry set that I just made for the package for the first prize a uh, uh, grand prize for the winner right so i told you i want to make this a, a valuable prize so that you guys help me out and share and like and all those good things so you get the journal you get the wonderful pack you get the jewelry set here Right, and the jewelry set's about a $60 value. Journal, $75. This pack, $25. So already I'm making it valuable for you. What we are going to do today, the actual video, is going to be on the Curiosities page. And I'm not sure if this will be a one-part video or a two-part video. So there are our three on that page. And we have... Oh, I love him. Isn't he cool? C. I bet she was. I mean, these these people are so fascinating to me. And there, the bearded lady. So, um, this isn't quite finished yet. I'm gonna do. It's ninety five percent there. I want him to do something uh, for the door poles. Um, I'm gonna finish that up real quick. And then I'm going to start editing all the videos. But I told you that with every new video, or maybe I didn't tell you this, with every new video, I'm going to add to the goodie bag. I'm going to add to the prize. Uh, some things will be small, some things will be bigger. Okay, so not every time you're not going to get a $60 prize in the first place uh, prize. I might think about doing a second place, not positive on that yet. So um, <laughs> um, I've decided to add this to uh, the box. This is Tim Holtz uh, stamp set. It has never been used. I have not opened it uh, here, sorry. So you get the, the finger pointer guy, which I love, the special deliveries, the, the great map, the explore, uh, explore, dream, and discover. So this is at least a $10 value. And I'm going to add it to it for the first video. If this video takes two parts, which I think it will, because I think I have about nine videos, maybe not that much, but I think it's going to take at least two parts. So for the second video that I post, this is going to be the addition to the box. I have five deli sheets and these are beautiful. These would absolutely be something that I would use in my own artwork. Very much so. Um, but I want you to help me out. So I've got to make it a good prize, right? Right? All the rules will be listed in the comments. And uh, if you guys would please purchase off of that Amazon list, that would be awesome. 
Uh, I'm going to try to do an abbreviated list so that um, YouTube doesn't tell me I have too many words. I use a lot of words. I'm sorry. All right. How does that sound? We're going to uh, get this going. We're at five minutes. So your prize package is already getting bigger. Kind of fun kind of fun. I got to keep looking and see what I want to add to it. Uh, I'm working on the Patreon. I did get it approved and I will start to put content on there tomorrow. That's the first. So um, I think I want to try to make sure I have new content on there by the time I would have to pay rent, which is going to be the fifth of every month. So no later than the fifth and usually earlier. How does that sound? beginning of every month, I'll have new content. All right, guys. Thanks so much for, for sharing and for being here. I really appreciate it. And let's get to work. Okay. We'll chat soon. Bye. Hello, everybody. Hey, I just wanted to show you one thing here real quick with these earrings. If you're not a fan of super long earrings, you can easily modify these. I'll just bring you right down here. Hopefully you can see them. You can easily modify them uh, to be shorter or different. I prefer a little bit longer earring, but I know that there's a lot of people that don't. So all you have to do is open up this jump ring and you can remove the copper piece. And then you have this earring here. Or you can take off this centerpiece and this jump ring and then just slide those uh, these three components onto the ear wire or you can put these two components onto the ear wire so you can actually modify these quite a bit to be whatever size you would like okay and if you're a guy that happens to win this prize I'm sure that you have a friend, a mom, a sister, a um, co-worker, somebody who might like it. Okay, I just wanted to show you that these were able to be modified uh, if you like a different style of earring, a little bit shorter or whatever. Okay, we'll chat soon. Bye. Hi guys, how's it going? Stephanie Ani coming to you from Casper, Wyoming. Coming to you from mom's basement. Um, I'm working on the sideshow people. And I had a picture reference here for the sideshow. Here we go. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, glue down this one's got to go here three or four photos to a page and then each photo will have its own door or a curtain or whatever it will have an opening counterpart to it okay so probably the best way to do this actually would be set this up and do I have a pen? I don't know, it's going to be hard, huh? Mm, okay. So this is going to be our top page. No. These guys are going to go down here. This will have the doors.
remember which ones we chose. are dirty. So dirty fingers. Dang it. bit more of this guy. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> totally covered.
this in there. Okay. And this got opened a little too far. Anything? Who's this guy? Am I doing okay? Hello, everybody. How's it going? Stephanie Ani here. I'm back in Concord, California, sitting at my table, quite happily working on my book. Uh, you might have seen some of this be created. Uh, I did work on this today while I was on the phone, so uh, I don't have this particular page nor the um, attaching of the deli sheets recorded. So I'm going to tell you what I did. This is of course the back side of here. Then there is, okay it's the back side of that. What this is would be technically four doubles. Double, 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 double. So Four pages that have two pages glued together. All right. One. So this is 2001 to 2004. Or I'm sorry, 101 to 104. 100, and this was 98, I think. So, okay. What I was wanting to do is I was wanting to show the sideshows, the sideshow freaks, sideshow shows. And I thought little cool doors would be an interesting way to show them off. And uh, I do have more images, but we had some cool ones that I had before I want to use again, or that I want to use. Hopefully they're not buried at the bottom. I have her, I have her smaller. I wanted to use him, I like her, I like them, tattooed lady, she's going to come up later, I like that one, fortune teller, that will come up later too, he's pretty creepy, the albino guy, kind of like her, there he is. I love her. God, I love that photo. Okay, I think that was it for the sideshow people that I really wanted to use out of that section. I have a whole whole nother stack over here. So let's get him in here somewhere. He's as cool as can be. A bearded lady would be great. 
So we got sword, woman in a class. I think the bearded lady should be there. I think the tattooed woman is pretty cool. We've got other ones, other tattooed ladies. Maybe just two doors in this one? What about that? Oh, let's use him. You think that's dry enough yet? Oh, it didn't break. And luckily, it was empty. Oh, yay! God. We're going to have issues. Okay. I'll cut him down just a little bit. And we're going to cut him down just a little bit. And uh, who else should we put in here? That guy. How about like that? Let's cut him down just a little bit more. Let's kill the white. Okay. Now. So these are deli strips, jelly plate, deli sheet strips. I just cut them up with a ruler, tore them, and these are just strips of deli sheet. Um, I'm trying to stay within this same theme of colors. So uh, mainly staying with the reds and the golds, some green, uh, some blues, but the, the primaries are going to be again off of that page. My stomach is going crazy, guys. I apologize. Again, it's been a, a stressful week for me, so I kind of love her. Maybe I'll do her there instead. And the reason for that is she fits more with the color of the other photos. But on top of it, He's looking directly at you, so it's making a circular image, right? It's not just, um, he looks off this way, so it kind of distracts your, your gaze. This image brings you back into the photo. Um, and that's something that you become very conscious of when you're doing fine art paintings. Um, you really want to keep your audience's attention at the center 
And it's a, you know, an important thing to do. Okay, so let's cut her down a little bit carefully. Not a lot of extra to work with here. I do love this image. I think she's great. Okay. So then I have to think about how I want their doors to go. I think this one should come down. His door should open normal. His door. His door needs to open normal. His door needs to come this way. His needs to come down. Hers needs to come up. I know, it's crazy. Okay. And this, I'm not as exacting with this because I think these uh, doors are a better, a, a little bit um, rough edged instead of being so straight edged, which you know, for me, that is highly, highly unusual for me to do a non absolute straight edge. Um, Let's actually bring that down and give it a little space up top. And here I'm just kind of roughing out the shapes of the photos. It's okay. Okay. So these will actually get glued onto this page once the doors are cut. Oh yeah. She's going to flip up. All right. Now, things to remember. This outline of this photo is bigger than the photo. So we want to make it actually smaller. The cut, we want the door to actually be smaller than that. I think we're going to have to take this off. All right, I got totally distracted by finishing up this page. As you know, I like to work on multiple pages at once. I just finished this up, so hopefully you guys will get that video tomorrow. And let's uh 
Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm actually tired. Let's see here. I think one thing that I want to do real quick is uh, put some tape in here. You guys know how I like to use my uh, athletic tape to um, seal my seams a little better to strengthen my book. I haven't been doing it on this book, which I should have been doing it on this book. So let's get the, uh, we're going to have windows, we're going to have doors in there. It's all right. Still needs to be there. It's a very thin athletic tape. Now the reason why I use this type of tape is it is a fabric base. Uh, very sticky. This is the type of stuff I would use uh, in my operations. I have had numerous operations. Um, because it is somewhat waterproof. So it's good stuff. Let me just, just do a quick piece in there. Worried about that spine already. But if you worry about it now, you can be proactive while you're making the book instead of having it fall apart on you at the very end, which that sucks. Where'd I put my exacto? Dun, dun, dun. Exacto! I knew you guys saw it. I knew you knew where it was. Now, where's my little cutter board? I mean, it's not small. It should be right here. How does things just keep disappearing? Oh, because I set it on the floor. Oh, I really got to clean my house. Okay, so this guy, I want him to fold out that way. Let's do him first. I'm gonna just kind of go with that flow there. And uh, I'm gonna take it under. You know, this is rare for me to not use a ruler. I am going along the lettering as much as possible. And where did I take it to? Right past the... there. All right. This one, I want to open the opposite direction. So I'm going under my marks. In here, even just a little bit. Bringing it in from here. And this is one of the rare times that I don't want it exact. Okay. Now, this one I think I wanted to lift up, and this one I want to lift down. Okay, so that's right under the lettering. I'll bring it right under the lettering. Bring it in a little bit. We want that photo to stay hidden. Okay, and then this one's going to come down. Yeah. You just hope you're not cutting through something you're not supposed to cut through. No, I didn't. Okay. Pop it. Hinge it. Pop it. Hinge it. Okay. 
Let's get our um, photos down in here. He's so Hold this sharp. There. Now I did put the uh, cigar wood in here. I don't think I need to do that. It does make for a really nice hard door though. I kind of like that part. All right, let's get uh, him glued down here. You guys are recording? Yeah. Okay. Doing the photo frame. Right. We're going to put this guy over here too. All right. Clean off, dry off the brush. It's still a little wet. Not good. Not good at all. And let's get it lined up again. And you can move it right now when it's still wet and it's not pressed all the way down. You still can move it. All right, where's our where's our woman shooting? Let's get her stuck in here too. Now we don't want to stick this down. We're just trying to get them lined up right now. Come on. Scoot over here. Scoot over. Oh, she's so cool. Super cool. Perfect. Good. Get him pushed down. Get some of this uh, glue dried off. Or water dried off with it. We've got a little bit of sticking up right there. I don't want the picture to come up. Get all the wrinkles out. Be careful that you're not creating more wrinkles in the process. Or that you're not pulling up your image off of your Uh, laser print. I only use laser print, guys. I don't use inkjet. Okay. Now, this is probably a little bit uh, wet here, but uh, the, the wetter it is, the more that you can move your photos. We're going to kind of line this up the way we want it here. We're going to line this up the way we want it here. Let's see what we got when we close it. Okay, this has to come over. See how we can still move it? And this has to come over a lot. Perfection. Now, Make sure these are stuck down nicely. Now, these don't have any uh, glue over the top of them. I generally like to put a layer of Mod Podge over the top to protect the images. So I'm going to put a uh, light layer down here over the images. Don't close your book while you're doing this. And try not to uh, glue your other pages together. And when it's wet, now see I've got stuff on my fingers. Now, it's okay, because I was going to go back through and tint these a little bit anyway. 
Uh, but I don't want it over the face. So we're still wet. So we can work with the image. It moved a little bit again. Let's take this fresh. Push them out. Push them out. Push them out. Push them out. Good, good. I do think that it does add a layer of protection for the image. However, if you do it too much, it does pull up the ink. Just don't do it if you're worried about it. I don't mind that I'm bringing up some of that ink. They're supposed to be old photos, so we can do that. All right. Let's think about the doors. Well, these guys are mostly dry. We can also bring in the glue now to here. Grab the edges. Bring in your paintbrush. I guess I should have done more right there. There's plenty of glue on here. Plenty of glue to get into trouble. Be careful about your images. But making sure that it's well glued. Don't pull up your ink. <laughs> Okay, so this is a little backwards from how I did it before. Like I was saying, I did the um, doors first, and then I uh, put the deli sheet over the top. So this is this is backwards. We can get a little extension on that if we want. And we will take our tacky glue on that. And I do not need that to be perfect. This is this is the one time that I'm not really worried about absolutely fitting it perfectly. I don't know why. It's kind of out of character for me, but uh, I'm liking this kind of random feel to it. It's kind of gritty feeling, you know. Come on. The reason why I have to use tacky glue to glue this wood part on is this cedar wood does not have any respect whatsoever for Mod Podge. Hates it. It doesn't hold it at all. Can 
actually probably put a quick clamp on that. Let's just do this. Make it stand up, put it just down to the bottom. <laughs> The next one. I don't want to cut the paper, but I want to make a good fold in there. Make it do what you want it to do, you know? And that tacky glue works really well with this uh, cedar wood. So we're gonna cut it down here just a little bit, keep a little bit of the rough edge. center. Get it that center. sure you don't get it into that fold. Leave that fold be. So what that does is it gives it a thickness that I want for these doors. The way that I did these is that the wood went in between this page and the deli sheet and so it, it folded a little bit nicer. I hate to say that. Uh, but 
you know, it's minor. I'm not going to stress too much about it. Stress a little bit about it. I don't like it as much. It's just me being my picky self. Let's make sure this all dries together. With some pressure. Under pressure. Dun, 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 dun. Pleasure coming down with me. Mm -hmm. First, got a nice diagonal. Uh, stuff doesn't like to be cut on its crosshairs very well. This is one place we want a straight line. Oh no, don't do that. <sighs> <Don't> scrub. 
Don't scrub. Don't use your fingernail. You'll take it off. Okay. This will be similar to using a bone folder. That's what we need. Super sharp 